dangerous. <coughs> Only for a person like Rupa Goswami can do. I want that Rasakatha and Raskitam should be stopped. I have seen in Radha Kunda, my age is 91. I have seen so much. Be careful. That Harikatha, Rasakatha, Rasakitam should be stopped. Otherwise, you will be Sahajiya. And of nowhere. I request the Harikatha watcher should also be careful. For he is good, I am telling So you should all be careful. You should not hear that Rasa Kirtan, Rasa Katha. Otherwise, you will be Sahajiya, lose character. So, my request to all. You should kill do Kirtan. We have some letters. We have letters. Loose cult persons, loose characters. They are always roaming on the back of ladies. Rama, 
नमो महापतनाय कृष्ण प्रेमाय कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य गुरव गौरचंद्राय Then Lakshmi may beg, but that devotee will not beg. There are so many ladies whole night waking. They have prepared all these preparations. And our dear sons have helped. So I think this festival is successful. Those who have done parikrama. Go puja and other parts of Govardhan. They will be so. They will have not to beg at any generation or end. Now I want that how Goraj Govardhan. Came to that place, so we should know. You first call, stand up. If you don't know, then sit down. <laughs> then stand up. <laughs> Oh, better towards the crowd. <laughs> Om Jnana Timirandasya Jnana Jana Shalakaya Chakshuru Numilitam Dena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Vancha kalpataru bhyascha kripa sindhu bhyevacha patitanam bhavane bhyo vaishnave bhyo namo namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare Hare First of all I'm offering
my unlimited dandavat pranams and my shraddha pushpanjali to the lotus feet of my beloved Gurudev, Nityalila Pradishta, <coughs> Om Vishnu Padasto Tarasata Sri Srimad, A.C. Pakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada, and secondly, I'm offering my Dandavat Pranams equally to the lotus feet of my beloved Siksha Gurudevs, <coughs> Nityalila Pravishta Om Vishnu Padasto Tarasata Sri Srimad, Bhakti Rakshak Sridhar Goswami Maharaj. And Om Vishnu Pad Asto Tarasata Sri Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, our beloved Gurudev, under whose guidance today we have performed the Anakut Maha Mahotsav of Sri Giriraj Govardhan Maharaj. And then I'm offering my Dandavat Pranams to all the Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis all the friends and guests who have come to this auspicious assembly in Sri Nu Vrajatam and who have partaken in this most auspicious occasion as Sri Laguru Dev just pointed out to all of us. So this great festival of Govardhan Puja uh, and the appearance of Giriraj Govardhan and his divine personality what is his identity? This is proclaimed in Shastras. It's proclaimed in the Srimad Bhagavatam especially. And Giriraj Govardhan, he is one of the eternal associates of Radha and Krishna in Vrindavan Dham, in the eternal spiritual abode of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna. When Sri Krishna Bhagavan descends to this earthly realm within the material universe, he transports, by his divine spiritual potency, he transports the spiritual world to the mundane universe. But it does not become mundane, it is completely <coughs> transcendental. So, the land, the trees, the animals, the people, the waters, the mountains, they are all completely spiritual and transcendental because they are coming from His divine abode. So this Giriraj Govardhan, he is one of the eternal associates of Krishna who provides the most wonderful facilities for Krishna's pastimes. In his Braja Leela, Krishna is constantly sporting in the area of Sri Vrindavan Dham. And Giriraj Govardhan, he is the, compared to, in all of Braj Mandala and the twelve forests of Braj Mandala, Giriraj Govardhan is compared to the beautiful decoration, like we wear tilak on our forehead as a decoration for this body dedicated to the Supreme Lord. So in the same way, Giriraj Govardhan is like the fresh tilak decoration of all Braj Mandala. And although Sri Krishna performs wonderful transcendental pastimes all throughout the twelve forests of Vrindavan Dham and Vrajamandala, but the most wonderful, sweet and intimate pastimes take place, especially here in Giriraj Govardhan. So this transcendental mountain uh, is full of all facilities for Krishna to enjoy his pastimes. And he is herding cows there. Giriraj Govardhan is supplying so many beautiful fresh green grasses for the cows to eat. Beautiful streams and waterfalls are on Govardhan Hill. Uh, and beautiful caves with decorated uh, jeweled altars and uh, sitting places for Radha and Krishna to perform their uh, intimate sweet pastimes. So everything around Giriraj Govardhan is facilitating Sri Krishna's pastimes. But how Sri Giriraj Govardhan came, although it is true that he is an eternal associate, but there are also pastimes within the material universe which explain how he appeared. And there are sp specifically two pastimes because Sri Krishna appears once in every day of Lord Brahmaji who is the uh, creator of the material universe, empowered by Krishna. 
So in every day of Lord Brahma, which is more than uh, four billion years, in once in a day of Brahma, Sri Krishna personally, Swayam Bhagavan Krishna, descends into this world. So in different kalpas, a kalpa means a day of Lord Brahma, there is a different uh, method by which Giriraj Govardhan appears in the land of Braja. So one such pastime is told in, in one of the Puranas that there was one great Rishi named Pulastya, Pulastya Rishi. He was a very powerful Brahma Rishi, he had great mystic powers. In former times, in Satya Yuga and so forth, there were so many great sages. And so they used to meditate and they used to create very beautiful ashrams, places for their meditation, which would be very suitable and which would be very helpful and favorable for their, for their spiritual practices. So Palastya Rishi was in the region of the Himalayan mountains. And uh, there was one place called Dronachal? Dronachal. Yes, Dronachal. So uh, there was one mountain there that when he was going through the mountain area, he saw this incredibly beautiful mountain region. And that hill uh, impressed his heart so much that he wanted to have that place himself. And he wanted to transport it to where his own uh, place of ashram was. So, in Kashi, in Kashi. So he had to get permission from the father of this hill so what is the name of the hill? The name is Govardhan, hill. And the father was the uh, father of Dronachal. So, now Palastya Rishi, father, Dronachal, yeah, that's what I said. Father was Dronachal, and the son was Govardhan. The name of the hill was Govardhan. So he requested that I want to take your son with me. I want to bring him to my place, and I want to transport him there. So, uh, the father gave his permission on the basis that the son would agree. So, when he asked Giriraj Govardhan, then Giriraj Govardhan decided that I will go on one condition. If you transport me there, then you, if you set me down in any place, I will not move from that place. So, Palastya Rishi agreed, yes, I will, I will agree to that. So now, Giriraj Govardhan, uh, Pulastya Rishi, took the mountain and began flying through the air with his mystic powers, bringing Giriraj Govardhan, who was of course by his own mystic powers, transporting himself. So as they flew through the air, they crossed over the region below, which was the region where the Brajmandala pastimes of Krishna would take place in the future. And because Giriraj Govardhan is the eternal associate of Krishna, he knew about this. Therefore, by his own influence, he caused the Rishi to feel some necessity by call of nature to go down and, and, to, and to rest Giriraj Govardhan. So after he had completed the call of nature, then he wanted to again ask Giriraj to pick himself up and allow to go to his ashram but now Giriraj Govardhan told, but you have placed me here and my, my agreement with you was that wherever you place me, I will have to remain there. So now Palastya Rishi, he tried to argue his point, but Giriraj Govardhan refused to move from that place. So now Palastya Rishi, uh, he became upset. <laughs> but we know that the, the curse of sages, whenever they become angry, even if they curse someone, that curse is ultimately some kind of benediction within the pastimes of the Lord to accomplish some purpose. So he told that Govardhan can stay there, but he will shrink the size of one mustard seed. Every single year he will shrink down and down and down. So at that time Giriraj Govardhan, he was so high, more than a mile high, and he looked so spectacular and beautiful. Actually, Govardhan is considered the, to be the king of all mountains. There is one very beautiful verse, Govardhano Jayati Shaila Kuladi Rajo. Uh, this means that he is the Raja, the king of all beautiful mountain areas. So, Giriraj Govardhan, 
he very happily accepted this curse and now he remained there in Braj Mandala when so many thousands and thousands of years later now Sri Krishna appeared and he performed all of his pastimes on Govardhan Hill. Thank you. Om Ajnana Timirandasya Gananjana Shalakaya Chakshu Unmulitam Jena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Vanchaka Patru Bhishta Kripasan Bevacha Patita Nam Bhavane Bhyo Vaishnave Bhyo Namo Namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shiva Sadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare So Shri Pad, Padmanabh Maharaj, he's very nicely explained the pastime of Giriraj Govardhan in Satya Yuga. So now in Trekta Yuga, Srila Gurudev, he's explained in his Parikram book, Vajmada Parikram book, that during the time in Trekta Yuga when Ravan, he kidnapped Mother Sita. Then Lord Ramachandra, in great anxiety, he got together an army of mainly monkeys and bears, and they wanted to cross over the ocean to go to Lanka. So he had two members of his army, their names were Neil and, and Null. Neil and Null. And Neil and Null, they had a mystic power that what they would throw in the water that it would float. How this came about um, is explained. This is coming from Premananda Prabhu in Mathura. So, it's explained. Do you prefer from Srila Gurudev? Okay, I'm just covering myself. So, it's explained <laughs> that Neil and Nal, they used to take the different um, paraphernalia that the sages and rishis that they would use for their puja, and they would take it and they would throw it in the water. So then, these sages, they became so annoyed with Neil and Nal that they put a curse that whatever you throw in the water, that that will float. Why they, that it will never sink. Why? Because with their intelligence they knew that, oh, if it didn't sink, then it would be floating, then they could go and retrieve their articles and perform their puja, the different types of worship. So when Lord Ramachandra he wanted to cross the ocean and go to Lanka, so it was such a vast, di um, vast distance. So now it was brought to the attention that Neil and Nal, that they had this power, that whatever they put in the ocean, that it would float. So then the different members of the army, they were told that they should go and they should go and get different rocks, stones, boulders, etc. So in the army of Lord Ramachandra, was very, very great personality, Hanumanji. So Hanuman, everybody's carrying according to their ability. So you have those who are very um, weak, but still according to their ability, they're carrying and they're throwing in the ocean. And Lord Ramachandra, he's accepting all. So Hanuman, he went to the Dronachal mountain range, and there he picked up Govardhan, and he was traveling through the airways. And as he was traveling through the airways, then a voice came, and it said that whatever rocks, stones, etc., that you're carrying, that the bridge has been finished. So you can leave it where you are. Then Hanuman, hearing this, then he put Govardhan down where he was. But where was that place that he put Govardhan? That place was in Braj Mandal in Vrindavan. So, Giriraj Govardhan, he is an eternal associate of the Lord, and he is there residing in the transcendental world. But he's making his, he has his manifest pastimes, ways by which he manifests his pastimes in this world in Vrindavan. So, he's manifesting in this way, but Govardhan was feeling very grieved that I was going to go and go in the ocean 
and there I would be able to serve Lord Ramachandra and Lord Ramachandra, his lotus feet, would be able to touch my body and then I would be blessed. But now, I've been left here, then, in, his, in this Leela, so he's not um, acknowledging or aware of where he's been put. So now I have lost this chance. But Lord Ramachandra, then, he said that Govdan should not worry because in the next yuga, in Dwapa yuga, then I'll appear and I'll perform most super excellent pastimes. And in these pastimes, not only will I place my lotus feet on the body of Govardhan, but I'll perform such super excellent pastimes. It's explained Hantayam Madriya Bala Haridasa Bayo, Yadrama Krishna Charanas Parasha Pramodha, Manam Tanoti Sahago, Paniya Srivasa Kandara Kandamulai. That there, Krishna, going with the cowherd boys and the cows and the calves, that they'll play on the body of Giriraj Govardhan. That when it becomes very, very hot, that Giriraj, who is Haridasabhaya, will become nice and cool. That when it becomes cool, then Giriraj will also warm up. That Giriraj will supply very nice water to quench the thirst of Krishna, the cowherd boys, the cows and the calves. Kushum Sarova, Manasi Ganga, Radha Kun, Sham Kun, um, Govinda Kun, Apsara Kun, Raval Kun. <coughs> that when Krishna and the cowherd boys, that they're feeling some hunger, then Giriraj will supply all types of nice fruits, nice edibles. That from Giriraj's body, he'll supply very, very nice aromatic musk mm, in which to serve the Lord. So in this way, Lord Ramachandra was acknowledging that Giriraj will perform all types of nice services. Just like when one is worshipping the Lord, then one is performing arti and offering nice incense, nice scent. In this way, Giriraj is worshipping the Lord. That one is offering um, ghee lamp. Giriraj is worshipping the Lord. In his caves, they are very nice jewels which are illuminating the cave where Krishna is performing his pastimes. And also, Giriraj is offering water and very nice breezes. So in this way, though it appeared that Giriraj was missing the opportunity to get the um, foot dust of Lord Ramachandra, but ultimately this is the divine will and pastime of the Lord, that Giriraj, who is an eternal associate of the Lord, will serve the Lord in multitude of ways in which he'll be known as Haridasavarya. Thank you. That is Srimad Bhagavatam Katha about Govardhan. Can you explain? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who will take? Oh. Madhava Maharaj, Nandi Gopal has a nice story how Govardhan manifested here by Gurudev's will. I told other day already. <laughs> so, um, we have a very wonderful announcement to make about our very dear, beloved servant of Srila Gurudev, uh, Sripad Bhaktivedanta Madhav Maharaj. We all know how he has so faithfully and loyally and steadily served Srila Gurudev's lotus feet every moment of the day for 30 some years now. And the service of his, when we even think for a moment to do this for a couple of weeks, it, our mind becomes bewildered. Even in dreams. Even, dream. <laughs> even for one day. 
So we just don't know. He's worshiping Guru Dev Devi with 100 Ashikars. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He is actually worshipping Srila Gurudev every day with hundreds of articles. You can do Guru Puja with a few articles, but Madhav Maharaj is worshipping Gurudev every day with hundreds of articles on a scheduled basis, giving him all medicines. He is his personal doctor, very expert. And not only that, but for all the devotees worldwide, he is one of the greatest authorities in Shastra. If you want to know any shlok, Madhav Maharaj knows this. And he has been trained from his very early life personally by Srila Gurudev, by, Sh by his Guru Maharaj, his Diksha Guru, Srila Bhaktivedanta Vaman Goswami Maharaj, by Srila Bhaktivedanta Trivikram Maharaj, and so many other great Vaishnavas. So we are very, very fortunate that we have such a Vaishnav who is uh, leading the way for us in the service of Sri Guru. So we want to make a very uh, happy announcement today. You know that about a year, or was it two years ago? 2000, in the year 2008, and leading up to that, Sri Padmanabh Maharaj, he uh, prepared a thesis, a doctorate thesis, to receive a PhD. Why? Because Srila Gurudev wants that his leading preachers, his sannyasis, senior Vaishnavas, they will be recognized in modern society with the credentials that are given great respect in ordinary society. And the PhD is certainly given great respect uh, for learned personalities. So uh, one of our devotees uh, named Mahabudi Prabhu, who lives in Florida, Many years ago, he established a bona fide university in the United States, registered legally. It is called the Florida Vedic College. Uh, and Srila Gurudev desired that his senior preachers and, and uh, sannyasis would all uh, go through the necessary channels with that Florida Vedic College by preparing doctorate thesis and so forth and receive a PhD uh, in the subject matter of Vaishnava philosophy. So Sri Padmada Maharaj is the first of all of us to actually complete that task. And he, he wrote a most wonderful, wonderful book based upon his service to Srila Gurudev. And he provided in that book so much evidence and quotations from all Vedic literatures on the true conception of Sri Guru and the conception and, and Sri Guru Seva. So Guru Seva means the service to Sri Guru. So that book is also available at our book stall. You can receive it and it will be a wealth of information for you to understand what is the mood, how to serve Sri Guru, and what is the, the transcendental position of Guru and his relationship with his disciples. All these different topics are covered there beautifully. So, one doctorate thesis is good, but two is better. So, Sri Padmada Maharaj, has worked very diligently and uh, now as we've been he's been sharing with us uh, the last couple of mornings that he has actually uh, been collecting all materials from Srila Gurudev personally and various other sources over the years and he has compiled Srila Gurudev's personal biography and that biography will be produced in book form by Kartik time and also given its final title but the title at the present time is the the supreme treasure, Sri Lagurudev. So, so this doctorate thesis is has is now being awarded as the second PhD. Oh, it, it has over 1,000 pages in this book. So this is going to be really a treasure for all of us to understand who is the Divine Personality, our beloved Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, Srila Gurudev. What kind of life he has led, what kind of seva he has done, all of these things are enumerated in that beautiful biography. So this book is the thesis for the second doctorate, Ph.D. of Sri Padmada Maharaj. And we, have, we have now want to display for the devotees 
It's already been approved by the Florida Vedic College. It has been conferred upon Naveen Krishna Brahmachari, that's his legal name, <laughs> on his passport from before he took sannyas. Uh, the, doc the degree of Doctorate of Philosophy in, in Vaishnava Philosophy. Yeah, from the university. Well, it's named Florida Vedic College, but it's actually a university, a Vaishnava university. So, we want to uh, express our great appreciation. And we want to... So we also want to mention that the devotees in general are encouraged by Srila Gurudev to also go this route for their preaching and they can also acquire their credentials through the Florida Vedic College. So any of you who are thus inclined should uh, figure out what your doctorate thesis is going to be in the subject matter of bhakti and become PhDs and become great preachers of Krishna consciousness. Hari Bol.
Yeah. 